Today we read about mechanism of labor. Today we will read about mechanism of labor. Now mechanism of labor is uh, includes various changes which occur on the fetal head during its adaptation and passage through the maternal pelvis. First, a word on what is the attitude of the fetus. The fetus is normally in the attitude of universal flexion. It means the neck is flexed and touches the wall of the chest. The thigh is flexed on the abdomen and the knee is flexed on the thigh. Both the hands are flexed and they cross on the chest wall. And the spine is also flexed. So it is something like this. This is the position of universal flexion of the fetus. This is called as the attitude of the fetus. We will be reading about left occipito anterior. So with the maternal uh, pelvis here and the fetus in vertex a longitudinal lie cephalic presentation and completely flexed attitude. You can see that the occiput is here against the left iliopubic eminence. So in this position, the what uh, the cephalic end is engaging in right oblique diameter. The suboccipito pragmatic diameter, the anteroposterior diameter of the fetal skull, and in the transverse, the biparatal diameter is crossing the inlet of the pelvis, which means that the engagement has occurred. Now, descent is a mechanism which occurs throughout labor and along with the descent some amount of flexion continues to occur now, as the head moves down the pelvis and reaches up to the level of the ischial spine it meets with the resistance of the levator and eye because of unequal flexibility of different parts of uh, the fetus there occurs a rotation by one eighth of the circle and now by this the occiput comes to lie in behind the pubic symphysis and the suboccipitobrachmatic diameter now comes in the anteroposterior diameter of the outlet of the pelvis so some amount of torsion has now occurred on the neck now with the continuous movement as it comes down the vertex will be coming below the subcubic angle and behind this arch at this point we will be seeing that the head is crowning when the biparatal diameter is stretching the outlet and even with the contraction seizing off the head does not recede but remains at that it means the head is crowning now with further uh, contractions the head delivers by extension. So extension occurs in which vertex is occiput is first to deliver followed by the vertex and then it is the face of the fetus and chin is last to slide on the perineum. Now uh, as the torsion has occurred to undo the torsion the head will move on the same side of the side of the of the thigh of the mother during this moment inside the pelvis the biacromial diameter is engaging in the opposite oblique diameter that is in the left oblique diameter and again with the further descent the shoulder will rotate that is the biacromial diameter will now rotate and come in the anteroposterior diameter and then with further uh, descent and moment it is the anterior limb which will deliver first the anterior shoulder will be delivering first which will be followed by the delivery of 
so it is an anterior del delivery of the anterior shoulder followed by delivery of posterior shoulder and then as it comes out there is lateral flexion of the spine and the rest of the body also delivers that is how the mechanism of labor takes place if you could understand please subscribe drop a like and share thank you